How's it going everyone, it's me Vivi and welcome back to yet another Sly Cooper video. So, I want to show you guys something. The official account of PlayStation on Twitter, they tweeted the article about Sucker Punch's 20th anniversary. Now, about this tweet, they decided to use a picture of Sly Cooper. No, it doesn't mean anything. They're just going back to what Sucker Punch has done back in the day, Sly Cooper. But, have you seen the replies? It is crazy, people are freaking out. Where is Sly Cooper 5, bring all games to PS4. It's absolutely great seeing fans unite, but that's all I wanted to say. It's pretty fun. Now this whole thing about a collection I discussed in the previous video, why is it necessary? It's already out on PS4 via PS Now. We already have the PS3 collection on that streaming service, so what's the point of having another remaster for the PlayStation 4? Many of you guys have pointed this out in the comments multiple times. Oh, and not only that, Thieves in Time is also available on PS Now, so again, what is the whole point of having another collection on the PS4? I'm about to give you guys a very poor argument, okay? It's going to be better. Okay, that doesn't sound like a bad argument, okay, but looking at this from a business perspective, why would Sony allow another collection, knowing that Sly Cooper is an underrated series? So why would it be better for Sony to do that? That's what I mean. PlayStation now relies on internet connection. You don't really own the game. It's based off subscriptions. So why waste time and money on another collection for the PS4? Why would Sony do that? It's true that money is involved. More money. Of course there's money involved, but here's how I look at it. Release all four games with fixed bugs. Yes, PS Now has the three games and Thieves in Time, but those are the PS3 versions. There has to be a reason why fans will buy another remaster for the PS4. Yes, fans will buy it because they're fans, but what will convince Sony that another collection for the PS4 is worth it? One, a way to test the waters, and two, add more features. And one great example would be mission replayability. Sly Cooper 2, we're looking at you. Let's look at the Uncharted series. We got three games on the PS3. Those three games got remastered for the PS4 under the name The Nathan Drake Collection. And all three games on the PS3 are now available on PS Now. So knowing that a collection was released for the PlayStation 4 before all three games entered PS Now, was it necessary to bring these games back on a streaming service? A collection already exists. Yes, the PS4 collection has better character models, better textures and stuff, but it's still the same game. On PS Now we have the PS3 versions, yes I get that, but why would Sony allow this? Simple, extra money. So what's the problem with releasing Sly on PS Now, which is already available, and later release a remaster? All four games on one disc with fixed bugs and all that kind of stuff. How can Sony make money out of this? Marketing. A bunch of you have said, but Sly Cooper is already on the PS4. There's PS Now, okay, okay, why can't it have a second remaster? What's so wrong with that? The only thing in the way right now is of course Sony, they decide. And I guess that's why you guys keep saying that no it's not gonna happen because we already have them on a streaming service. They're PS2 games, sure, but look at Halo, that thing got 3 remasters. Yes, yes, you're comparing Halo to Sly Cooper. Are you crazy? Yes, Sly Cooper is underrated, I get it. But for those of you saying no, just because it already got remastered for the PS3 once, doesn't mean it can happen again, you never know. Look at Kingdom Hearts, yes Kingdom Hearts is a bigger series than Sly Cooper. Square Enix remastered the PS2 games onto the PS3, and then they later decided to re-release it on the PS4, running at 60 FPS. So is another remaster impossible? No, it is not. Anyways, let's move on to the second topic, which is the real point of the video we can say. What if Senzaru Games wrapped up the whole mess of Sly Cooper 4, that stupid cliffhanger with a short game. Call it Thieves in Time Part 2, there's a nice ring to it. Hear me out. It's kinda like a DLC we're talking about. A short game, which includes only one lengthy episode, which was originally supposed to be in Sly 4. They could easily wrap up time travel, which I've said multiple times, that's not the nature of the series. Get rid of it. Have Sly find his way back home. They could also tease the villain for Sly Cooper 5. With this 
mess of a cliffhanger out of the way, they start fresh. Present time, Sly Cooper 5, which is the most anticipated sequel. So wait, short game, are we looking at a DLC? Not really, because we're talking about a game on the PS4. Thies in Time was on PS3. So, what I'm imagining is a short game called Thies in Time Part 2. If you guys completely dislike the idea, you can stop watching now. But, I did discuss Sly Cooper 5 with an episode in Ancient Egypt in three parts. Part 1 being the story, part 2 being gameplay, and part 3 being the introduction. I don't know if you guys have seen it, maybe you'd like to check them out. Now, okay, okay, if Sony hasn't greenlit Sly Cooper 5, what makes us so sure Sony would allow Sanzaru to make two Sly Cooper games? Okay, for, th <laughs> for those of you saying Sly 5 has no chance of happening, go ahead and hate me. Wait a minute, this dude is not only talking about Sly Cooper 5, which is unlikely to happen, but then he's also talking about a short game. What? Is this guy crazy? Get out. Get out of here. Why are people even subscribing? to this guy. I know, I understand, Sly 5 is a huge mystery. Adding a short game on top of that, it's crazy, right? But you never know what the publisher has in mind. Has Sony even said, no, we're no longer making Sly Cooper 5? If you can link me to that, please do so. For the time being, Sly 5 still remains possible. We have a cliffhanger, they can't do that. If anything, just make a comic. Anyways, will this short game be only digital? No, I'd imagine something like Uncharted The Lost Legacy, which is around 10 hours and got released physically as well. Now for those who never played this short game, I would imagine Sly Cooper 5 having this summary, how Sly went back home. Pretty much, this short game is like an add-on, but like standalone. It can't be a DLC, right? It's a PS4 game, with better textures and probably a different engine, we never know. Also, it is highly assumed that Sly is going to meet his Egyptian ancestor, Sly Common 1, maybe 2, but I think it's 1, the creator of the Thievius Raccoonus. So, since this guy has given spark to the Cooper lineage, they should spend as much time as possible on this episode. So, in short, I want the short game to focus on Sly going back home, just this one aspect. You know, just take their time and explore the backgrounds, instead of a full-fledged game where they quickly come up with this plot on how Sly goes back home and players will probably be like, okay, but why didn't they do this? Why didn't they do that? So they should take their time and focus on that one aspect only, and make it so that players won't ask too many questions. So how long should this short game be? I'd say 10 hours, with exploring, and if you're taking your time. If so, then I'd expect Sly Cooper 5 to be, of course, the longest and the biggest game out of the series. But it's Sly Cooper at the end of the day, a 10 hour short game, it's, uh, it's pretty huge I'd say. 5 to 8 hours maybe? Then again, 5 to 8 hours? imagining a physical copy of the game? I don't know. Maybe. 5 to 8 hours to me sounds like a game which you'd find on the PS Store only. Another thing, if it's not a short game, why not make a movie, make it 3 hours long, with the 2D animated scenes from Sly 4? Something like the animated short by Ghostbot. Fully length, but of course better looking, I mean come on, if you look at the animated short, there are some less detailed moments. I mean that was just to promote the game, anyways. Now, this animated short has over 2.2 million views on one channel. The official channel has 500k, which is still good. Now, as for the Sly Cooper 4 cutscenes, it has the most amount of views out of the series on two channels. One has over 2 million views and the other has over 1 million. Funny, isn't it? Some people call this game trash. Why is it that Sly 4 has more views? Okay, maybe people who didn't have PS3s, they decided to watch the cutscenes. But still. And these days I feel like when someone says Sly Cooper 4 is trash, they bandwagon. Oh look, this one person hates Sly Cooper 4. Okay, I'm gonna hate it too. Am I the only one who noticed this? I just don't know, to me it feels that way. But anyways, all I'm hoping for is them fixing this. But they can't do this. But I'm going to shut up now. So this is it for the video. So as usual, if you have any thoughts, if you agree, disagree on some points mentioned in the video, share everything. And as always, I've been Vivi and thank you so much for watching.